Ito din yung pinag-isipan ko bago pumasok ng computer science. Do I need to have a knowledge in programming before I study computer science as my major? So. Hello world, it's Vidi and welcome back to my channel. So, if you're new to my channel, please click that subscribe button down below. And also, I am a computer science student studying at the University of the Philippines, Mindanao. And for today's video, we will be discussing what my subjects were during the first semester because honestly, as an incoming freshman before, I was also very curious about my subjects, ko ano nagiging subjects ko during the first sem, and of course I know that there will be programming subjects, but of course mayroon din yung mga subjects that were not related to programming, and gusto ko malaman ko ano yun, and so for all the students who are curious out there, this is for you guys. And yes, I know na merong syllabus online, pero of course. Nakalagay lang kasi doon yung CMSC 3, CMSC 10. Of course, I know what CMSC means, COMSI, but I don't know what the numbers meant. So, yun ay discuss natin today and I hope that this video will help you guys. So, we'll start with the majors and then we'll continue with the minors later. Let's start with the first major subject. So, our first major subject is Math 17. Ang Math 17 is College Algebra and Trigonometry. It is a prerequisite ng madaming subjects for the second sem. So you really need to pass this subject. And yeah, so Math 17 mostly discusses about high school lessons but with a higher level of difficulty. There are also new lessons that were introduced during the first semester of Math 17. So yeah, if you're a high school student, master all your lessons in mathematics really well. You know, it's my suggestion ko para para may advantage ka rin pag nag-aral ka na ng Math 17. So yeah. So ang second is Comsci 10. COMSI 10 is Introduction to Computer Science. Actually, this is very similar with COMSI 18. COMSI 18 is Computer Programming 1, but I will delve into the specifics of COMSI 18 later. But basically, COMSI 10 is more on theory, and we discuss about number systems, flowcharts, pseudocodes, hardware, software, history, you know, more on theory. But we also have a little bit of programming, pero basic programming lang. Python, Python ang gamit namin programming language. Kasi the bulk of application programming is sa COMSA 18. So let's proceed to COMSA 18, which is the third subject that I will discuss. Basically, COMSA 18 is one of my favorite subjects. It is computer programming one, as I said earlier, pero it is more on application compared to COMSI 10. It is divided into two, lecture and laboratory. And ito din yung pinag-isipan ko bago pumasok ng computer science. Do I need to have a knowledge in programming before I study computer science as my major? So. No, hindi kailangan na may prior knowledge ka in programming. Pero if you have, that's an advantage. Kasi they will really teach you basics, variables, constants, functions. They will teach you that. Yung pinaka basic talaga kahit wala kang programming, programming knowledge before, it's okay. So, every week, they are divided into two lecture and laboratory. During laboratory, every week, it's once a week. We have we have problem sets, and it's usually by partner or by groups of three, and we have to pass it before the end of laboratory. Or if sabi na teacher naman homework, edi homework. Pero yeah, problem sets are fun. We have to pass the code via online submission. So yeah, it's fun. And so for the exams, so I'm say 18, there is one, there is a written exam for lecture, and there is what we call OTSP or on-the-spot programming for 
the laboratory. And you know, on the spot programming, usually you have to solve one problem out of three, three problems. You have to only solve one in one hour or in one hour and a half. It's an all or nothing basically. So, but it's fun. Don't worry, guys. So for the third subject, it is web design. Our teacher discussed HTML and CSS. It's basically designing a website and you've guessed it. Our final project is to design and make a website. So, um, last but not the least sa mga majors is discrete mathematics and logic. So, it involves truth tables and um, set theories and Extantiation, generalization, but you'll learn all of that in Council 56. Don't worry. So, let's now move on to mga minors. But I will show my schedule here. No, first semester, I'll show my schedule here. So, no, first semester, mga minors ko, I NSTP, Mindanao Studies. And PE. So yeah, the bulk of my subjects are are already majors. So NSTP National Service Training Program, basically, yung NSTP, is you will hold an event and also give back to the community. Um, Mindanao studies, naman, is you will learn the history of Mindanao. Of course, there are readings, history of Mindanao, different tribes in tribes in Mindanao, and last but not the least. Sa mga minors is PE2 and PE2? Oh, PE1 pala. PE1, PE1. PE1 is, of course, more is PE1 is more on theory. We, my teacher discussed skeletal, the skeletal system, muscular system, cardiovascular system, tapos meron din kami mga physical activities. So, that's my minors and that's my majors and I hope this video really helped you know what the subjects are in computer science and if you're interested in taking up computer science just comment down below yeah thank you guys and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and click that like button down below and hope you enjoyed god bless guys Happy New Year and Merry Christmas.